For over 130 years, the large Golden Dome building perched above Bushnell Park has been our state's capital building. Yeah, it's been the headquarters to such names as Del Grasso, Trumbull, and now Malloy. But as we look back at this week's hidden history, the old state house was attached to some other well known names, too. State House was constructed um, over a three year period ending in 1796, and at that time Connecticut had two capitals. Hartford was one, New Haven was the other. The two capitals of Connecticut lasted until 1873 when a decree was passed that Hartford would be the sole capital of uh, Connecticut. The original meeting house in which Thomas Hooker preached what became known as the Fundamental Orders of Connecticut was originally on this location. We believe the uh, building was designed by Charles Bullfinch, who later went on to design the uh, federal U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C., and is credited with uh, designing the dome that we now know so well. The House of Representatives chamber, which has been restored to the Victorian era, the mid to uh, late 1800s, used by legislators in this chamber, including one legislator named P.T. Barnum. Many people know him as associated with the circus, but he actually um, was uh, a four-time uh, member of the House of Representatives. Barnum actually was giving a speech in this room when he was handed a note telling him that his uh, museum in New York City had burned down, and he continued with his speech. The courtroom was used for the final trial of Prudence Crandall. Her court case had started, of course, in Wyndham County, eventually ended up the appeals here at the Supreme Court of Errors. Opening hearings of the Amistad trial were held in the courtroom and in the Senate chamber. We're in Stewart's Museum of Curiosities, which he opened in this building very shortly after the building was completed. George Washington has a connection with our building. Um, he visited the site when the earlier state house was here during the Revolutionary War. Some historians believe that that strategy that was discussed is what led to the final battle of Yorktown. Wow, I just learned a lot. All right, for more information about this week's hidden history or to take a look at all the others done by uh, photojournalist Mike Townsend, you can head to ctnow.com.